Well, it's amazing all the new talent that comes into the league in any given year. 2020, of course, is no different, Joel, is it? With uh, Every week we're finding MEGT rookies all over the park. Every round, the NRL Nation team will award the, the rookie of the week and then we'll select a winner after the end of the home and away season. They've been great supporters, MEGT, of supporting employers, apprentices, trainees, job seekers and students for over 35 years. MEGT provide quality employment and training solutions that make a huge difference to all communities, which is so important in the difficult times that we faced in 2020. What about the 2020 nominees for the MEGT Rookie of the Year? Well, Jimmy, look, there's only been about 10,000 rugby league players who have debuted in the top flight. So only 10,000. And you think about that, you go down to the funnel, not many players get the opportunity to debut in any given year. We have come up with the nominations. We've started with Adam Clune from the Dragons, who had a stellar season. Nobody, nobody had him picked in the half position. He's a late bloomer, Adam Clune. So he's one of the nominees. He had a stellar year, according to the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Jamin Jolliffe. Now, the Gold Coast Titans had a good year, partly on the back of these youngsters who were coming through the ranks. This kid uh, did his apprenticeship at the Cronulla Sharks, and he has well and truly made himself a big part of Justin Holbrook's team. But you couldn't look past this fellow. It was a unanimous decision when it came to the voting at NRL Nation. He absolutely, from the start of the year, just uh, tore the competition apart, really. And he's a wonderful story as well. The boy from Tonga. Uh, you can kick goals with MEGT, your local apprenticeship experts. And this kid was kicking goals. The winner of the MEGT Rookie of the Year and a $2,500 prize tag goes to Eli Katoa. Hey. So, yeah, well done to Eli Katoa. Wonderful young man. We'll speak with him in a moment. But before we do that... Let's go now to Lorena McGrillan, the National Marketing and Communications Manager at MEGT. Congratulations, Eli, on a fantastic year in the NRL and being the 2020 NRL Nation MEGT Rookie of the Year. We've enjoyed watching you play throughout the year and we look forward to watching your career progress in the years to come. Congratulations again. Well, what a season this young man has had. At the start of the year, I caught up with recruitment doyen Peter O'Sullivan. I said, can you throw three names at me that we must keep an eye on, three names that we hadn't yet heard of? And he most certainly mentioned this young fellow, Eli Katoa. Congratulations, Eli. You're on the list. You're the winner of the MEGT Rookie of the Year. Thank, thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I obviously caught the message um, a couple of days ago. And, yeah, pretty, pretty happy. It really means a lot for me and my family. Um, especially myself, um, growing up as a, as a young kid, first year of, uh, with the NRL. Um, yeah, I um, really appreciate that. Um, I'm sure there was heaps of, um, there was heaps of um, good rookies out there that could have um, won this award. But yeah, I'm um, just grateful that I um, got this award. Thank you, guys. And Ellie, uh, I understand there's two reasons to celebrate. One, you've won the award. But the second reason is that you had to make your way back to Auckland into isolation and you're very soon getting out of isolation. Yeah, so um, we'll be heading out, um, home in, um, tonight. So tonight, uh, today is, our, today is our, our last day and yeah, I'm, I'm sure everyone's excited to go home, see the family and see the loved ones. So yeah, can't wait to see the family, man. Ah, uh, fantastic. Hey, Ellie, what was that experience like? The fact that, you know, very early on in the season, you guys had to drop everything, move over to Tamworth originally and then down to the central coast in uh, just north of Sydney. Um, how did you find it as a young man just making your way in what's a highly competitive sport? Yeah, um, I'll tell you what I always say to, um, to the media when they ask me the, the same question. Um, for me as a young kid, um, it's so easy for us young boys to um, move over there. Obviously, that's what we wanted to do is just to play footy. And, but we really feel for, um, for the, um, those boys, they call kids and they um, call wives and stuff. They I have to look for their family. But for myself and the other young boys, I'm pretty sure we, um, we enjoy the experience that um, we never did before. And yeah, if time like that comes again in the future, we'll, we'll be ready to take whatever will come in our future because we already have this and we're grateful to, um, we actually go to Australia and stay there and play a couple of games, like you said. Yeah, no, you, you, you handled that as a group incredibly. In fact, probably you could argue you're playing better footy by the end of the year. We heard about the senior players like Roger Tuavasa Sheik and Adam Blair and Torhu Harris. For you personally, who was the, who was the player that helped you most uh, during that time in lockdown and on the Central Coast? And who was the most annoying teammate that you've had? Uh, I wouldn't say um, specific, um, one person, but like, like you say, 
it was a group um thing uh, we sort of um understand um the situation with um everyone at the club um at the group and we should sort of just come come together and do everything that that um that we know that is gonna take us to to the end of the season and for doing that uh, I'm sure everyone um I didn't have um like one person to um I'm sure everyone had like the same reason and to um they contribute to um what bring us to the end of the season. Sure. Ellie, what about growing up? Uh, who was the player that you looked upon, maybe a, a hero of yours that you base your game on? Um, as you all know, um, I grew up as a as a rugby union player, and so I, um, and plus I was grew up in Tonga and didn't get to watch much um league in Tonga. So when I was young, um, I look up to Michael Hooper that played for the Wallabies, um, just because I I played union when I grew up. But ever since I moved to New Zealand, I start watching um Tony Harris when I was um still at school. And I've been watching and asked Chris and him, like, even now, um, he always helped me out. And, yeah, I'm still looking out for him. And the way he played, he, he just motivated me to, to do the same thing he does. Yeah. What about Michael Hooper? He played his 100th test match. Not a bad test match. You watched that yesterday? I watched that game, man. He was, he was a good game, man. Um, I was saying to, to my friends, no one deserved to lose their game. Everyone played their, their best with their... Um, like you said, with Michael Hooper's for, um hundred of um, games and their new coach, it was, it was a good game, man. Hey, Ellie, who's your tip to win this competition? Sorry, sorry, what was that? Uh, who's your tip to win this competition? Uh, uh, to be honest, um, I want um, Bamrath to win this comp um, just because they deserve it, man. Um, they, they've been, um, yeah, deserving. They, they, they win, like, a lot of games and, um, but, there's two more games for them. Um, it's going to be a tough one, but I want Penrith, uh, Penrith to win. Well, Ellie, congratulations. You are our MEGT Rookie of the Year. So many players uh, try to make it to first grade. Very few do make it. And of those who do make it, you've been uh, judged the best in class, according to NRL Nation, MEGT yeah. Rookie of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, guys.